Howdy, this is Stan. I used to live in Taiwan for nine years, and today I'm gonna make yet another video in English. I'm addressing this to the whole world. This time we should talk about one of the biggest inequities, which is the lack of the international recognition of the island nation of Taiwan. So, today's topic is why should all the countries recognize Taiwan as an independent nation? If you want to know more about Taiwan's status and why is it a sovereign state, you can check out my video Taiwan is an independent country. Let me tell you why. The video link is gonna show up here. As of June 2020, there are 50 15 countries that have official diplomatic relationships with Taiwan, and there are 57 states that have representative offices of Taiwan. Those representative offices have all the function that an embassy has, but they are not called embassies. Why? The answer is simple. Bullying from the communist China. They're calling Taiwan a rebel province. They're blocking its participation in international organizations. And they have been threatening to invade Taiwan for a very long time. There is a constant threat that they will send the army to invade Taiwan. There are missiles facing Taiwan. And China wants the whole world to recognize Taiwan as a part of their territory. Doesn't that sound like bullying to you? We also see how the CCP, which is Chinese Communist Party, is challenging the democratic values and trying to increase their impact all over the world. Exporting authoritarianism and violating the basic rights at their home is what makes me worried. There is a crisis going on in East Asia. We all saw what did China do to Hong Kong, how they broke all of their promises. No change for 50 years, one country, two systems, everything that was written in the joint declaration, it was all a lie. Now Beijing simply passes the laws for Hong Kong, not taking into consideration what do the people of Hong Kong think. The so-called high autonomy of Hong Kong and independent legislature, in the eyes of the Chinese government, are only obstacles on the road to get full control over Hong Kong. If you learn more about the history history of the communist China, you would realize that it's not the first time they're not following the international agreements and using the international organizations only in their favor. Look at the treaties they signed before, like the 17-point agreement with Tibet. Supporting Taiwan is a very easy and an obvious way to support the democratic values, human rights, and the free society in Asia. If we don't want to see the history repeating itself, if we don't want to see what happened in Hong Kong also happening in Taiwan, if we want to see a vibrant democracy of East Asia thriving, we should support Taiwan. We should let Taiwan being seen by the whole world. We should protect this beautiful island nation. And now let's talk about the country of Taiwan. I made a video before on why should we support Taiwan. The link should appear here. To sum it all up, let me give you some bullet points on the achievements of this island nation. It's a vibrant democracy with a democratically elected government. Taiwan became one of the most developed nations not only in East Asia but also in the whole world. The rule of law, the separation of powers, it all works in Taiwan. As the political environment is very competitive, all the parties think of the best policies to make the life of the Taiwanese people better. Sure, it's not perfect, but looking at the development of the Taiwanese democracy during the last two to three decades will make everyone impressed. It's a country with one of the best healthcare systems in the world. The effectiveness of the Taiwanese national health insurance was even praised by the Nobel laureate in economics Paul Krugman. People live long, happy, and healthy lives in Taiwan, and almost everyone is insured. Just look at the Nambeo website healthcare index. Taiwan is considered to have the best healthcare in the world. And it's for the fourth consecutive year. There are many hospitals with the world-class professionals working there. The queues are not long, especially comparing to Europe. And the insurance covers most of the health issues, even dental services. It's a country with a unique history and culture. To say more, it's a mixture of different cultures, such as Japanese, Hokkien, Hakka, cultures of the indigenous tribes. And Dutch and Spanish cultures also had their impact on Taiwan. If you're looking for the traditional Tao or Buddhist temples, you can find them in Taiwan. Taiwan. Taiwan is trying its best to preserve its past. And if you are interested in the history of the development of the democratic movement, you should learn about the Ten Lam Yong case, the White Lilies movement, and how did the Taiwanese resist during the events of white terror. The Taiwanese people have been through a lot, and their democracy was gained as the result of hard work, while resisting against the pressure from the totalitarian government. It's a country that achieved great results in gender equality. In 2019, the marriage equality law was passed, making Taiwan the first country in Asia to allow same-sex marriages. And if you look at the women's rights in Taiwan, you can also see a positive tendency. The number of the female representatives in the government is also growing. For example, the number of the female representatives in the legislature reached 38.7% in 2018, which is higher than in Japan, Korea, or China. Taiwan is one of the safest countries in the world. The streets are well lit, the police is working very effectively, the public transport is available till late. I think everyone who visits Taiwan will feel 
feel safe no matter when he or she goes out. Taiwan is one of the world's leaders in high tech. It's known for the semiconductor manufacturing. But there is so much more to it if you look at the Taiwanese innovations and technological development. You might know the companies like ASUS, Acer, MSI, BenQ, Foxconn, Gigabyte, TSMC. They're Taiwanese, and there is even more if you look at startups. In my opinion, one of the most successful ones is Gogoro. They're like Tesla in the world of scooters. Taiwan has a very developed educational system. It's publicly available, the schools are well equipped, and every Taiwanese person has access to the educational facilities. Taiwan has also a very high percentage of the people with higher education. According to the Ministry of Education 2015 statistics, 46.7% of people in the age of 25 to 64 have higher education. It's higher than in the US, which is also scoring very high, 44.6%. Taiwan is a country that provides international help. During the current events, Taiwan gave medical supplies to the EU, the US, and many other partnering nations. Taiwan's humanitarian effort should have more international attention, as the country is doing a lot to make the world a better place, and is one of the foreign aid donors to this world. All of those successes in building civil society, effective healthcare system, safe environments, developing world-class technology, preserving the nature, are possible only due to the hard work of the Taiwanese people. When you hear the claims from China, please don't forget that Beijing did nothing for the development of Taiwan. Communists never ruled Taiwan, not for a single day. And by looking at their actions in Hong Kong, by hearing their threats of the military invasion, by seeing the human rights violations, you should all realize that the CCP is not a trustworthy partner. They want to take what doesn't belong to them. And it's a shame that the world does not unite in support for Taiwan. We should not let the democracy be outcasted. Taiwan needs to be recognized by the world's nations. And Taiwan should be praised for its successes. It's a wonderful country with friendly and welcoming people. And it's a country that is constantly being bullied and threatened by. The world powers should protect Taiwan and give it what it deserves the most, international recognition. Stop pandering to Beijing on Taiwan relations. At the beginning of 2019, Chinese Chairman Xi Jinping explicitly demanded that Taiwan shall unite with China or face potential military action. But it's not a unification. It's a military invasion that she is threatening Taiwan with. Some of the international experts, like Dr. Azim Ibrahim, a director at the Center of Global Policy in Washington, D.C., and Hilton Yip, who is writing for Foreign Policy, have been calling on full recognition of Taiwan. I do support their point of view. Not only the United States, but all the countries should recognize Taiwan officially. It will give Taiwan additional protection against the possible China invasion. It will strengthen the position of Taiwan in the world. It will also solve one of the biggest inequities in the world. And last but not least, the world powers will only benefit from having such a nation recognized officially. There are many things that we can learn from the Taiwanese, from the high tech up to the healthcare and education. Let's unite our voices and support the international recognition of an island nation of Taiwan. If you like my videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is Stan, and I'll see you in the next one.